Well, I'm gonna give you a little peek at my next project here. Uh, those four tubes right there. Well, it looks like there's two, but uh, there's four. Uh, one inside the other. So anyways, those are uh, just a quick, easy way to uh, pour concrete down them. You know, uh, it's a form. It's gonna be for a footing. And uh, I'll show you where they go. But anyways, I bought myself a uh, cement mixer today. I'm in the process of uh, assembling it and I got a good deal on it because uh, I don't very often go to Harbor Freight but I stopped in there because the mixers they had at uh, Home Depot uh, were considerably more expensive and this here baby was uh, on a red tag special regular $400 but uh, I picked it up for $189 and uh, then down below there you can see I got uh, some uh, concrete you know getting ready but where this is all gonna go is uh, walk with me here while I go to the other side of the house and I'll tell you what I'm up to it's been something that's you know it's been on the back of my mind for a while and uh, you know nowadays since I'm you know beneficiary of Social Security and you know got my pensions and uh, got my job well things are just a little bit more easy you know so it's nice but so anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, make a roof for my patio and uh, the roof will start I'm gonna you can see I got a pretty wide overhang so I'm not gonna attach it you know to the house up here I'm gonna have uh, like a maybe six or eight inch gap and it'll be it'll be I'll run the same contour you know uh, same slope and everything as that roof but uh, I think I'll drop it down maybe like a foot and a half you know enough so I can squeeze in there and paint when need be and stuff like that <laughs> so anyways it's gonna be down about a foot and a half and it'll be like uh, six inches out from this wall so the footings uh, I checked this out you know I measured it out and, uh, this uh, patio slab there's only like uh, there's only like two maybe two and a half inches difference from you know the patio slab here over to the corner of the house and then uh, it's the same over there on the other side so basically it's going to be centered you know give or take an inch but uh, I'm not concerned about that and uh, I'm going to extend the roof will come out far enough I'm gonna bring it out here so it's you know the roof will extend past the uh, patio edge here and I'll terminate it here you know at the front end of this uh, planter thing that I got running here so anyways I'm gonna pop one footing uh, down in the ground in this corner here and I'm gonna pop one down in the ground probably probably right here and then same on the other end and then uh, once I pour the concrete into those uh, footings you know I'll just have to set an anchor you know while the concrete is still you know uh, workable I'll just set an anchor on top of each one I uh, once the concrete cures and everything then that anchors there and uh, I'm gonna use uh, probably a four by six four by six posts you know verticals and then I'll run a four by six you know uh, I'll have the four verticals and then I'll run a four by six you know from one vertical over here to the other one and this will be on the front side here and also I'll do it on the back side and then uh, that way it's got good support and I'll use a few other 4x6's you know to run from this corner here back and from this corner back and then I might you know put a couple of those nice vertical braces there but yeah so it's not gonna be very hard to do you know I got the 4x6 and then uh, I'll match the very front fascia you know just like that up there is 2x6 so I'll do the same on the front here and then half inch plywood and uh, you know I'll frame it 
and then I'll put uh, felt paper on top of that and then I'm going to use this same uh, timber blend uh, composition you know roofing like I put up there uh, the same as the house is uh, it's always irritated me that uh, the carport is uh, a different uh, composition up there but whoever did that probably got a great deal on it and then uh, the other thing you know why get the cement mixer well I'm gonna have other projects uh, the other thing I'm thinking about doing just for wintertime convenience and everything I think I'm also going to uh, put a cover between the house and the carport and same thing I'm not going to attach it uh, you know it won't be attached it'll be the same thing I'm just going to you know uh, hang it or you know build it so it's you know like same thing about you know foot and a half below these uh, uh, roof lines and then that way you know in the winter when we get snow which we didn't get a whole lot this year but it'll come back next year so then when I get snow and stuff you know I can come out of the house and I'm not gonna have as much snow you know that will have blown in here and it'll keep this area here clear and everything and and who knows what kind of crazy ideas I might come up with uh, but I wanted that uh, cement mixer because I'll tell you what this used to just have these little uh, uh, one foot square paver blocks right here you know and it was never level or anything and during the winter time it really irritated me so I poured that slab in front of the door and let me tell you there's like uh, 30 bags of concrete right there and you know when you're trying to get a, a pour like that all done at one time you gotta work like crazy to you know stir that off hey Stoney get back here get back here uh, but anyways uh, yeah so like there's 30 some bags there and same thing I had over 30 bags on that uh, sidewalk over there from the sound of the patio and you know when I poured the when I poured the floor in the sauna room good god there was 30 40 bags in there too and had to work like a crazy man to get all that done but uh so I'll have uh I'll find uses for it uh there's gonna probably be some maybe other projects down the road you know I might uh you know I might tie some concrete in in here you know just have a nice flat big old concrete expanse here from one end to the other and that way again you know it's easy to maintain and stuff but we'll see so anyway you guys see what I'm up to now